That's how you take that up when the screwdrivers don't work. All right, y'all. You see, carpet is out. Floor is in immaculate shape. I mean, immaculate shape. But uh, got the trim off. Little subs right here. Got to get that piece off. Got to get the A pillars off on the uh, passenger side. And then uh, it's a go, man. It's, it's clean, like super clean. See, see, I clean the back one is too. Everything clean, man. Whole back wall clean. No dents, no rust. Now I gotta take this headliner out. I'm gonna clean this stuff up, and then I give y'all another update. But right now I gotta go to sleep. I gotta work tonight, so it's your boy, Mr. Shortbed, man. I'm over and out. Gang, gang, what's happening? I'm back, I'm back over here at the truck. So as y'all can see, everything is taken out of it. Carpet, all that's taken out, door handles. I mean, door panels and all that, but all this is being replaced anyway. Just trying to make sure these stupid bees ain't stealing my truck, but I'm about to vacuum the floors and then I'm gonna clean them best as I can. Then you know bedliner gonna go down. And I gotta get that piece of trim off, get this headliner out, take that A-pillar piece off. Yeah, I just see some bees over there on the uh on the door handle. I mean on the fender. I'm about to spray them down. But uh let me get set up. But if you ain't got if you don't haven't built none of these, I suggest you build you some. Because these things comes in handy a lot. You ain't got jack stands. Yo, these right here, put them up under your tire. You can do any and everything up under the bottom of that car. But let's get to this, man. Let's dive into this, and um, I keep y'all posted. So let me get to it. Let's go.